we started making names right away. And we, I loved it. I was robbing drug dealers, taking their gold right off their mouth. And the shit we did, you know, who's going to call the police on you? A drug dealer? I can identify with anything that was normal, to be honest with you. But I was born and raised in Brooklyn, New York. Yeah. 99% of the time, you're going to disagree. Just like the Dummy Brasco situation with Lefty. Yeah, who are the reason why they figure it this way. You brought this guy around, he ratted on everybody, now he ratted on you. You might turn around and join him and rat on us, so we get rid of you, there's no connection between there and there, and they get rid of you. I'm Jason Reinhardt, and you're watching Chatting with Stacks. Welcome to this episode of Chatting with Stacks. I'm your host, Bill Stacks, and today I got Jason Reinhardt. Now, some shows make money that are, you know, that, you know, my problem is I was doing shows, uh, doing my best to help the sport and the fighters, and I had my own gym, and I was training for my fight, so I couldn't put 100% into my promoting. But we did some shows over the years, absolutely. Yeah, let's talk about your training. You want to start training people. You train people um, outside of of your other profession. You want to talk about that a little bit? Yeah, I do some private lessons, you know, and uh, but I, I'm not back on the mats yet. I'm still dealing with this injury here, and uh, uh, I'll be back on the mats soon. Um, but you know, I tell you, speaking of injury, you know, I haven't been on the mats. It's uh, you know. When you get off of pills, sometimes, not all the time, I'm saying that when you get off of them, for me, what it did is it caused IBS, you know. And so I'm dealing with that IBS stuff in the stomach, you know. So uh, I'll be back on the mats, so though. I'm, I'm still keep fighting, you know. Yeah, so if someone wants to get, like, lessons by you or anything like that, how can they uh, reach out to you? They can, uh, they can text me on my phone. And, uh, yeah, that's the best way. How's that? Yeah, I mean. I Hey man, it, I don't. Well, I don't know I, if I'm gonna put your number in the description. Yeah, let's not do that. Hold on, hold on. That's a bad, bad idea. How yeah. about on Facebook Messenger? Yeah, yeah, we can do that. <laughs> Golly, yeah, yeah man. man. Hey man, there's so many good things in the future. I'm excited about the future, bro. <laughs> when I get when I get one really, really crazy, I usually uh, tell them to call Spencer Fisher and uh, and. <laughs> <laughs> and they call him. He gets so mad at me, dude. He gets so mad at me. But, he, but he's got me before. He he yeah. started it years ago. We had somebody a little bit out of their mind, and we loved it though because it was, he was entertaining to talk to. And he's sick. It was a girl. He sick her on me, man. So I owe him. So hey, is there a lot of back and forth, uh, like uh, joking around yeah. in the fighting yeah. leagues and stuff like that? Yeah. Yeah, man, it's uh, absolutely, you know, it's, uh, I think that's because it's so intense a lot and you're always in fight mode and when you get a chance to cut up and let loose and get your mind off the fight and the training, it happens in the fight gyms, the good fight gyms that have a good camaraderie. Absolutely. It was, yeah, man. and military fighting systems, everybody was fucking with everybody, man. <laughs> I mean, amongst the groups, you know, amongst yeah, the they too bad they didn't record all of it because it's probably legendary. You know what? I've got a lot of recordings in storage in Illinois that I I want to get out of there and uh, get them to Florida and look at them. I've got a lot of Japan stuff. Oh, man. Yeah. I'm telling you, I'm putting together a documentary about where are they now, man. So no, no, no. I need you to be part of that. Yeah, right on, man. Right on. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, man. So, do you want to give anyone a shout out that's out there? I know Randy. Shout out to Randy. And uh, Randy. do you want to give anyone a shout out out there? Randy, just uh, oh man, a shout out to who, huh? Uh, you know what? I don't have any more sponsors anymore, man. So uh, you know, there's really just shout out to everyone. How's that? <laughs> 
Hey man, shout out to all the potential sponsors out there. There you go, right, right. I'm yeah. looking for some too. Right, right on, absolutely. You can give yeah. this guy a sponsor, and you can give this guy a sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I've still got my tap out stuff from over 20 years ago. You know, hoodies and stuff. You know, they sponsored me in my fight a couple times. That's pretty dope, man. I, right I mean, you you've reached a feat in your life that a lot of people haven't. You know yeah i guess you could say that man it's uh i have definitely this sport has definitely it's i don't really even call it a sport man it's, this fighting business it's uh definitely uh taking me around the world and seeing uh seeing the world for sure hey if you could go back in time and change one thing what would that be one thing um Huh. Well, if I could change one thing, it would be uh, I never uh, popped that first Vicodin. You know, that'd be the one thing for sure. Yeah. yeah. But then again, you look at that and you think, man, sometimes struggles in life that you go through build you up for better things, you know, and, uh, you know, you got to look at it that way. You can't look at it, you know, in a negative way. There's it's always a reason. You who you are, man. Like we were talking the other night. I've recovered. Like, yeah, I'm not in recovery. I don't I'm like recovered. that word. I, I'm not. I never really liked that word, man. You know. Neither. We talked about that. Yeah. I, I'm sure there's a lot of people that disagree out there, but it's all good. Yeah, yeah, it's all good, man. Everybody's entitled to their opinions. I mean, it, recovery just seems to me like you're. You're this, I don't know, man. It, it just, I, I like that word. I like that recovered word better, you know? Me too, man. It's but bad. I will say I'm not stupid or cocky enough to think that addiction's right right around the corner ready to take me out, man. You know? I don't ever got this, man. No, I, yeah, you could. Yeah, exactly. It's too, what do they say? It's mind baffling to the doctors. Yeah, baffling, powerful, cunning, baffling, powerful. <laughs> Right. Now, I got see, the book I, right here, man. You want me to grab it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Baffing, cunning, powerful. <laughs> right. Right. Absolutely. I probably yeah, did. I probably did everything the opposite way after rehab. You know. Um, you know. But here I am, still clean. You know. So I don't know. They tell you to take it easy and uh, take it easy. Go to ninety meetings in ninety days. And I, I never did any of that. I think people should though. I'm just saying, I'm not saying my way is the best, my way is the right way. I'm just letting you know that everybody recovers, recovers differently, you know, from this, you know, and I, I did it in a way they probably would call me white knuckling it in the, in the, in the book or whatever. Yeah. Well, I, mean, I did. I did go to a lot of meetings though, but I don't go to meetings anymore. Every once in a while I'll hit one. I should go back. They're good, man, because they make you, as you know, they make you, they're humble you, man. You hear other stories, other people, and it just uh, does something to you in that room. It definitely does, man. It, it, it gives you the knowledge you need to be able to face situations in life and get around them without having to go to the drugs or alcohol. Right, and a lot of the stuff in the book, it's, it's just – I put up drugs and alcohol aside. It's just a, a lot of it is just a good way to be and a good way to live. You know what they talk about a good way to be uh, period, you know? Yeah, definitely, man. So, um, what's one thing that people don't know about you? They don't know about me, man. Shit. Oh man, that you got me on that, man. <laughs> damn. Uh, well, there, there's some things I can't talk about, but uh, you know, but I would never. No, I mean anything. Like, any, if you have like a hobby, someone they don't know about. If you, oh, have okay, I got one. Something you I, like? I, I want a, I want a monkey. Uh, that's what I'm trying to talk my wife in to get me a monkey. To get, I can get a. I've always wanted a monkey, man. I want to get a monkey. That's. <laughs> Hey, if I could, if I could, she just said I also have my own apartment. Yeah, with a monkey in the apartment, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> that's probably something nobody knows about me. <laughs> oh, man. That's pretty crazy. 
I man, hey man, I right appreciate you, you taking the time, bro. Yeah, man, thanks a lot. I love your uh, podcast. You have some interesting guests on there, and you do a great job, bro. Keep it up, man. I appreciate it, man. I'm I'm trying to get where th this guy is. Oh, you know? <laughs> yeah, man, you're you you you're, you're gonna get there, man. Just keep plugging, man. Definitely, man. Thank you, man. And uh, you want to give anyone else a shout out before we go? I just shout out to everybody, man. How's that? <laughs> Thank you, man. I really appreciate it. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and notification bell so you can get my videos every time they drop. Till next time. Peace.